between the Midshire's way. When the devil's off our backs and the slate is clean. When all there is is who we are. Oh, that was great, we are alone. Beautiful. We've got, got nothing company. left to prove. Company there every weekend. But to atone for. And if I could, I surely would. And if I could, I surely would. Bright days like these. like these when we leave the world behind just for a little while it's out of sight and out of mind cause all that's good and all that's bad and all we hold dear Come tomorrow when we wake, we'll still be here. Yeah. And if I could, I should. Yeah. And if I could, I surely would. Right days like these. Oh, you are my port in every store. I'll transfer it to that. And you. Oh, you are safety, you are warm. And you are peace on days like these. Days like these, they don't come around much anymore. Sometimes life can take its toll on what we're living for. Oh, but these days help reaffirm. That we are strong enough to take All that life can throw and If I could, I surely would If I could, I surely would and If I could, I surely would Right days like these
Excellent. It's that way. Caveman. You better than that. Hello. So hello guys, it's Kev here again and welcome back to another Woodland Cave and Camp video. As you can tell from that little intro, we've come up to Hub First Cave. Now, your buddy uh, Paul Pet Nomad was here the other day and it looked ace. I thought oh, I've got to go up there at some point and just by chance I got a child free day today so I just ran my mate Matty up. So today we're sleeping in the cave, drop what you're doing. So we did. That's what we've done. He's down there stumbling down in the back it's somewhere. Strawberries and all sorts down there. Strawberries. <laughs> So yeah, here we are in the Peak District, and this is our view. There's the map for the cave. This is what this is our view for this evening. Now, when you come from the flatland of Lincolnshire, this is just ridiculous. Beautiful, beautiful Mesolithic cave. I'm a bit too fat for this, but. <laughs> Whoa. Oh man. A bit slippy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think this is it. Hey? I think this is as far as it goes. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, this is it. Cave man Matty down the hill. <clears throat> oh, I'm glad I, I bet you wish I wasn't recording then. Oh shit, I was. <laughs> mm. It'll snap our little twigs off. Everything's all working here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kev okay, has made it home now. Got my bedroom, got my storage area, and I've got my kitchen. Designated fireplace there. A little Statue for the fairies there, and someone kindly left us this wood. Excuse that um, Stella box. There's a nice little six pack there for me. A bit of cardboard to help start the fire. We've got a big branch, so might find all this charcoal as well. So we should be able to have a fire. So what? It's going to make for a good picture at the back of that cave. Yeah, right, yeah. Now, before anyone criticizes us, we know if you have a fire in a cave supposed to be at the back so the smoke can go out but this cave goes back for so long that we're not going to get trapped in here with the smoke so any know-it-alls that want to comment and say yeah you're killing yourselves <laughs> we actually know what we're doing and we know it if it was a small cave we'd have the fire at the back we do know that but yeah I'm happy as a pig in poop 
There we go then. That's the that's home for tonight. We've got some fast moving clouds. Big valley behind us. Oh I can't wait. This is probably one of the only times I've ever been camping that I want it to lash it down. I really want it to, the storms and everything to open up, lightning bolts and oh yeah, that would just be epic. Providing like all good campers should, where you stick in, hang your water. Same again, rubbish bag, just where you stick somewhere. So I've just cooked up. I boiled in the bag of rice here and I've just chucked in that tin of curry that I had. Just wait for this to warm through and then I've got chicken curry and rice. Happy days. So because it's so dark in here you can't really tell but outside the sun is actually going down. It looks really bright. Um, but that's just because it's illusion because it's just so black in here. So I've got a bed of coals down there from people that's had previous fires. I've took a load of dead sticks as a bit of a bed. And now I'm grading our, fire, uh, our kindling. So there's our lead sized kindling, our pencil sized kindling. And I'm working on the uh, thumb sized kindling here for all these sticks now we've managed to drag in. We've found a good, another good couple of branches. So I think we're gonna have a, a fire for pretty much most of the time we're up. So happy days. So we're just about there then, that's all the kindling, uh, in that bag is a bag of first burn, some more first burn here, and all our fuel wood, so, it's gonna, there's not a lot of fuel wood there, it's got some few big logs in there around, but the way this is, being stone, it's gonna keep a lot of its heat, and this is like a natural fly, fire reflector, it's going to bounce it all back at us, so should be alright. Right then, nothing fancy. We've got cardboard. We've got birch bark. We've got dried grass. We've got shavings. I'm not trying to get fancy. Just trying to get fire. And that burst bar didn't take over, did it?
So it was a ceremony. Maybe they were not on camera. I don't think I ever did that the first time. <laughs> We have a fire in the cave, our is up. We have fire! <laughs> yeah, that's drawing out quite well, isn't it? It's pushed it out. Yeah, it's not going to get us, is it? No chance. No, that's it. So, I'm in the cave. Here. <laughs> oh, this is... I am so happy. Might have chilled out. Definitely put the few degrees in there, isn't it? Warmed yeah, it up a bit. It's <laughs> a tiny little bit of smoke coming back in, but most of it's getting dragged down. Whoa! That's how dark it is, you can't see anything. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I love it. Glowing on the ceiling. I would now, I'm really interested in the history of the place. I just wonder if anyone ever did way back when, ever, you know, camping here, not for camping, but because they needed to, for shelter, for a home. I'd love to just be able to just know that. I love camping, but this adds an all new element. Happy days. Just sat in here with Matt, chilling, watching a bit of uh, caveman TV in an actual freaking cave. <laughs> oh. Caveman never had this stuff though. <laughs> We might have a whole new history if they would have had some wife beater. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't take in, stop taking videos of that fire. That is ridiculous. Yeah, the light spoils it. Yeah. So Matt's bed is there. Matt's bed is there. <laughs> and that's the cave entrance. Oh yes. That is just ridiculous. <laughs> it looks banging. Did you think you were sleeping in the cave this morning, Matt? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Neither did I. Knocking on my door. Come sleep in the cave, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the obvious answer. <laughs> oh, banging. It's me and Matt here just chilled out by the fire. Matt is proper chilled out, just proper laid down. Mm -hmm. Thinking about having a kit there. And we've just been talking about the fire and uh, what it must have meant to primitive people. Not only when they discovered fire did they have warmth, security, light, you know they could have done stuff later on in the night because they, they now wanted a light source. Um, but yeah, the morale, I know everyone talks around in survival about morale and having a fire, how much it can uplift you, but we were just saying just imagine the first time they had a cooked steak compared to a raw steak, you know? And how many more foods it would have opened up to them? Obviously we can't eat chicken unless it's well cooked, um, you know? And, you know, even for stuff like vegetables, you know, <clears throat> when they started being more softer and cooked and more palatable, the fire 
But now we're here in this cave and like look at the ceiling. You know, this is beautiful. But just how much fire, how so important it was to primitive people. And how much we take it for granted, you know, a cigarette lighter or a match, a bit of birch bark, a few twigs. <laughs> okay, there was a bit of cardboard on there. But we have a fire that's lasted all night and it's really and it is so hot in it. That's normal that's hotter than a normal fire for that yeah, size, isn't it? Warm, yeah. You know, we've got a fire surround. It's blasting the heat back to us. It's on a, a rock, so it's you know, it's not losing any heat anywhere. But it was just that that to a primitive person must have just been it, it, literally life or death. So it is well gone midnight. I've just gone down the cave <laughs> and slipped and nearly broke my back. But look here. We've got a feather, some sort of crystal or gem, strawberries, pear, tail, avocados, looks like lilies, I don't know what that is, but oh, wood louse all over it. But it doesn't smell edible. It does look like a little offerings to you. So, woke up here in the cave, I think it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Not the best night's sleep, but I'll tell you about that. I thought I got on a flat surface, but I've been sliding down <laughs> towards the mouth of the cave all night. Keep having to hoik myself back up. It's not a bad old view though. I had to get up and have a quick way earlier and it was peeing it down but I couldn't be bothered to get the camera. <laughs> yeah, well we didn't get murdered in our sleep, that was a bonus. I still do. I've got my beans and sausage, my cheesy rolls and my coffee. Breakfast of Kings. That is us packed up again then. We're gonna go for a bit of a wonder. Yeah. Thank you to Hobbs First Cave. It's been it's been emotional. It's been an experience for Matty, his their bed went down. <laughs> the one that I gave him. Yeah. So we're well out of the cliff from that now. Gone down the track, right down into the bottom of the valley. Slippy as hell, I've been over a few times. <laughs> Slipping all over the place, but I just thought I'd bring you in for the for the view. That's where we was camping, right down there. And obviously up. Sheer cliff faces here. Same on that side. And that's the direction of travel. Just as we're heading out the opposite way, this is where we've been. There's a buzzard flying around somewhere. I'll try and bring you in if I see it. Everywhere. Yeah. So then we come up the hill because we've got bored in the valley. Wanted a better view. Just yeah, scrambled up this hill 
and this is the way we've come from and right down there that's the parry shore that's where we parked so we've come totally the wrong direction but obviously on purpose we walk now we're, down. we're gonna head all the way down there around the back of this hill and come back Beat fast, I tell you that. Whew. It's good though. Work off a few of them beers from last night. Just noticed some sheep down here. Found themselves a the ledge, just chill out again. Never shot through the rocks. So, we've done a massive full circle. And we're back towards the caves now. We're going to go back down to the valley again. Okay, now. That's steep. <laughs> Fucking Christ. I'm planning on that. This is going to be brutal. Beautiful. It's steep. Perfect. Oh. Oh. 
I saw that one on the, on the front of the picture. So, the other one then is opposite. Beat. One last look of where we was down there. Plus the big however many miles we did all the way around. But tiring, but it's been worth it. So uh, that's it from the peak district. We'll uh, catch you the next one. <laughs>